Child a Roma to you all. So I finally made it to Rome for the long-awaited meeting convened by Pope Francis to address the crucial issue of child protection in the church. Now there's been a lot of speculation about this meeting and what it will do, and now we're about to find out. The idea for the meeting didn't come from the Pope, but he obviously thought it was a good idea, and I think he was right. Bringing together all the presidents of bishops' conferences around the world has to be a good thing, especially when dealing with something as serious and complex as child abuse and the church's response to this terrible crime. Pope Francis is saying that child abuse and its cover-up is not just a crisis in some parts of the Catholic Church. It's a universal challenge that needs to be understood and responded to in a universal context. So here we are, all of us, in Rome. We're meeting from Thursday to Sunday, well over a hundred bishops from right across the Catholic world, plus leaders of religious orders, people who work in the Vatican, and most importantly, survivors of abuse whose voice will be heard here. We'll listen, we'll speak to each other, we'll pray together, and all of that's important, obviously. But what's more important still is that action follow from whatever happens here. Words are no longer enough. That's something that we started learning long ago in Australia and that we have to keep on learning and relearning. No matter how much we think we've done or how weary we may feel as a result or how much we wish it were all behind us, it's certainly not behind us. In some ways the journey has only begun even though we've been through a lot in Australia. We've had five years of a royal commission that produced a massive report with a parade of recommendations. It's been agonising, but it's certainly helped the church in all kinds of ways to understand what has happened and why, and to see what must be done. Our response to abuse and its cover-up began long before the royal commission saw the light of day. But the Royal Commission provided a mighty impetus for awareness and action. It provides key elements of a roadmap into the future. In preparation for this meeting, we've provided to people in Rome an account of what we have learned, what we have done, and what we have still to do. But that's not to say that we can't learn from the rest of the Catholic Church. We can. Yes, we've been through the likes of a royal commission. Some other countries have been through something similar, but many have not. However, at this meeting, those of us who have been through the mill and are still going through the mill, can't start lecturing others about what it all means and telling them what they should be doing. We have our story to share, yes, but we'll need to be humble enough to listen to others and to resist the tendency to indulge in what's called over here ideological colonisation, which can be a failing of the West. That's certainly how I'll approach these days in Rome. Speak yes when the time comes, and speak the truth as I see it. But listen first. Listen especially to survivors, that will be crucial. I've been listening to survivors for over 25 years. It's been one of the most difficult and decisive experiences of my life. I've never listened to survivors, however, in an extraordinary context like this. And here I'm bound to hear new things from them and to learn in new ways. For me over the years, it's been a journey from seeing abuse as a sin to seeing it as a crime and then finally seeing it as a culture, by which I mean that abuse and its cover-up were aggravated and probably caused by cultural elements in the Catholic Church. It took me a long time to see that, and to see, therefore, the need for cultural change if we are to go to the root of the crisis and not just treat the symptoms. Here in Rome, we'll reflect upon the cultural changes needed in the church 
and how they might be brought about. We'll ask how we might forge a culture which is more accountable, more transparent, more inclusive, and therefore safer for all. Now, none of that will be easy because ch cultural change is the hardest thing of all. But we're here for hard work, not some kind of Roman vacanza. At the same time, I don't expect for a moment that we'll do all of this in four days. The meeting will have to be a part of a long journey with many steps into the future. And I'll be keen to see what actions are proposed beyond the meeting itself. We've come a long way, but the further we go, the further we see we have to go. This gathering in Rome will help us to see together where we have been, where we have to go, and how we might get there. That's why this meeting really does matter. So, say a prayer for us. Arrivederci.